Hey there, Libras. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be pulling you a few cards and uh, possibly a message for uh, November 2020. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I also want to give a big thank you to Nicole and uh, for allowing me to share this platform for a little bit so you can get to know me, uh, Spiritual Guidance Academy. Definitely like and subscribe. Hit that uh, bell notification to all notifications on so then that way you do not miss a thing. So uh, before we get started here, I'm having everybody working with this crystal. This is selenite. All right. This is really great when it comes to helping purify and cleansing your environment. Very low maintenance crystal. You know, uh, possibly if you are still able to go to work uh, physically in these interesting times that we are in all right uh great for clearing out that space you know uh maybe if you've got a car you know put it in the glove box you know or if not put it in your pocket okay also helps with uh my fellow spiritual workers out there if you're a reader you know reiki master anything on that level uh counselors anything like that uh this will also help to enhance your abilities to help purify you know, what's coming on in and not just opening the door up to anything. All right. So I believe there is a bit of confusion uh, in the October 2020 readings, and that's okay. You know, uh, so uh, I guess Libras and Scorpios got mixed up. So, you know, uh, the positive that I take out of that, you know, my apologies to you. Uh, you know, everyone, I believe, is just, you know, kind of at their wits end. It's just like all this work, all this stress. Uh, you know, this reading could have to do with relationships, lack thereof, you know, health, friends, family, kids. Uh, anything to do with yourself, cross watcher, pull up a seat. This reading can go vice versa. This is not gender specific, okay? Uh, so I want to give a, a few shout outs here. So Libra and Scorpios, uh, I guess the uh, the titles or whatever got mixed up. But however, Libras and Scorpios, possibly you may be working together, all right? So uh, I don't believe that was a happy accident. So let's see here. We have, uh, and I do apologize if I mispronounce anyone's name here. Uh, we have Yildiz uh, Readings, uh, Trish Taylor, uh, Tiffany Macon, and R.I.P. <laughs> uh, that's a really cool one. Uh, Eric Jones, big shout out to all of you. Thank you for, you know, uh, letting us know, keeping us aware. And uh, also to, you know, uh, thank you so much. There was a question that had really stuck out to me. And uh, someone had asked a question, I believe it was Eric Jones. Uh, Can auras and or slash energy affect computers and phone devices glitching or freezing? I'm glad you asked that question. And your answer is yes, absolutely. You know, uh, before I even got into this, you know, when you would go to see a reader on any level, uh, especially a tarot, uh, yeah, tarot or oracle reader, <laughs> you know, uh, you'd have to go into, you know, that back room and, you know, it, it, this is new for a lot of us, you know, getting on here and it's just like, uh, you know, uh, that does happen, you know, back in the days when I used to help, you know, uh, for, with promotions for events for clubs and uh, stuff like that. Uh, I could remember sometimes walking in and the electricity would completely shut down. Coincidence? Maybe. You know, uh, also sometimes too when you see readers on here now, it, because it's like we're almost forced to go on, you know, uh, the technical side of these platforms. And, uh, you know, with technology, where it's at today, I mean, 2024, 2025, I mean, it's just all going to be... <laughs> This is a technology, you know, and uh, I do understand a lot of readers do not like to do that because it can interfere. You know, you get the buffering thing going on, uh, you know, uh, it, it could have to do with that, you know, uh, especially too if some of you are possibly dealing with that bullying cyber stalking, you know, uh, they call it like gang stalking. Really, that's just a group of people that, you know, the, the scammers and, you know, hackers, stuff like that. 
So, uh, you know, we're living in very interesting times right now. So it could really have to do with any of that, you know. And if you look into the science of it, you know, for some of the doubters out there and there's no no, no issues, no problems with you, you know, it could be because, you know, a lot of people are on the Internet. But, yes, absolutely. You know, auras can affect and abilities can affect, you know, uh, if you're on a phone call, it could drop. You know, if you're on here, it could start buffering, you know, uh, that energy. It's just so powerful, especially when you get a group of people together, you know, and that could have to do with that. So thank you for asking that question. Let's just get started here um, and let's just see what we've got going on. I'm going to pull you a, a couple of cards here. You know, very quickly, uh, just to kind of introduce myself to all of you. And thank you so much for watching this all the way through. I do appreciate that. Uh, the headphones, too, is uh, because, you know, again, we're living in interesting times right now. And Carolyn is dealing with it, too. You know, you've got the distractions and noises. And this helps uh, with filtering that stuff out. You know, let the authorities deal with them. <laughs> So let's see here. Libra, as you are uh, an air sign and your ruling planet is the same as mine, Venus. Okay. Uh, Venus, the planet there, was uh, named after the goddess of love and beauty. And uh, who was I telling this to? Uh, Taurus as well, my fellow Taurians out there. All right. Uh, some of my uh, Libras out there, you could be working with earth signs. It could be Taurus, could be Capricorn, could be Virgo. All right. Um, but what I was telling my Torians out there and feel free to check out that video as well uh, for November 2020 is that, you know, Venus is known as a very hot planet. And it's really uh, interesting because I was actually listening to that song while uploading and downloading and uploading and downloading, you know, uh, I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, you know, and it, it's, uh, you know, a planet that. You know, the carbon dioxide uh, pretty much covers the atmosphere to that. So when the sun's rays come in, unlike ours for right now, uh, they cannot really escape because of that cloud, which makes it that hot. You know, so my Libras, uh, again, this is not gender specific. Cross watcher again, pull up a seat. OK, uh, this may have to do with you, may not. All right. So uh, Libras, what is going on? Let's just see here. Wow. Okay. So I forget who I pulled this for. I've been pulling this a lot as far as the November 2020 readings go. Uh, feel free to check it out. I believe I pulled it. What was it for Leo? Possibly Cancer. Some of you could be working with that energy. This is the Sage. Uh, be devoted and committed here. All right. Uh, and this is pretty much Again, uh, if this has to do with business, if this has to do with looking into school, possibly if you're like, Carolyn, I'm not trying to look into school. You know, I'm trying to raise a family. I'm trying to keep my relationship together. Uh, you know, I'm trying to do it all at once and I need some advice. This is probably what led you to this reading or to any readers out there. All right. Uh, possibly taking a new path if you've lost a business. Uh, and, you know, because of all of this going on right now, you know, possibly it's just like, all right, let's recalibrate here. Let's figure out what we're going to do. Let's concentrate on the solutions and not the problems. All right. However, I don't necessarily know exactly what I'm doing. All right. Um, I never went to college myself, uh, you know, so when it comes to technical stuff like that, <laughs> forget it. You know, uh, that's why I'm grateful to have all of you and this platform. You know, uh, you can see my face getting red with embarrassment because it's just like, you know, uh, the, the simpler things and a lot of people out there are just like, you know, how am I doing this? How am I doing that? Big shout out to to anyone out there in tech support, you know, um, <clears throat> that is doing this legitimately and not taking advantage of others. You know, uh, you're probably getting calls for days like, how do I share this document or how do I get on this platform or how do I work Zoom or how do I do this and how do I do that? And it can be very overwhelming, okay? Uh, so this possibly could be looking for somebody with advice. Could be an elder. They do not necessarily have to be older. You know, uh, the younger generation, they're very, very smart when it comes to technology, you know. Uh, you know, this also too, possibly working with Sage. There's all different types of Sage to work with, all right? Um, you 
you know, clearing out your environment once again, you know, uh, and this is also too, is uh, being very devoted and committed to whatever this is you're trying to learn about. Possibly this could have to do with learning about a lover uh, or a partner or learning about yourself. Uh, this is seeking like-minded mentors, you know, that really resonate with you, uh, that really speak to you. This is looking for possibly, you know, advice like from parents, you know, or a friend or like an auntie, an uncle, something like that, whatever, grandparents, uh, past ancestors, okay, uh, maybe a past loved one, possibly they come to you in a dream, and they're just kind of sitting there, like, leaned up against the tree, smiling, all relaxed, it's just like, how could you be so calm at a time like this? Libras, yes, take that breath in, and inhale out, okay? Uh, this is also to going back into nature. All right. Um, again, to some of you could be working with earth signs once again for Libras. That could be, you know, Libra uh, Taurus, Libra Virgo, Libra Capricorn here. And also to keeping notes, writing things down. Possibly you feel like somebody you're taking notes on somebody or uh, also to somebody could be watching you, if you will. Um, now, that that right there could go one of two ways, and I'm not trying to frighten or scare anyone. That is not my goal here, but I've got to keep it real. This could be somebody possibly stalking you, or I can almost like sense a crosswatch being like, wait a second, Carolyn, a Libra's doing that to us. Could very well be, you know, or uh, people just do not understand. What I love about uh, my Libras out there, you know, you are an air sign. You've got that good looks uh, with you. You're very uh, artistic. I've said this a gazillion times before. I don't want to sound repetitive here, but we do have to remember somebody may be new and afraid to ask a question and there's no uh, problems with that. You know, uh, a lot of you are in the creative arts. A lot of you are uh, musicians out there or artists on some level, possibly like a DJ, you know, anything like that. Uh, also, too, maybe you draw, do pottery, you know, uh, artists could be uh, cooking out there. Some of our like Chef Ramsay just came up, Chef Gordon Ramsay there. Now, that's a Scorpio, okay? <laughs> you got the Hell's Kitchen and see him flying off the handle, and uh, it's entertaining to people. People. All right. So it's that drama, that drama that's coming in. You are being asked to ground yourself, especially during these times. Be devoted and committed, but be devoted and committed to the right things are the messages here coming through. All right. So let's look a little bit further into love and pull you a, a couple more cards. I do understand you're all in different areas of your life. Some of you are single. Some of you are in that. Should I stay? Should I go? Some of you are already in a committed relationship. All right. And some of you are just like I'm feeling this um really heaviness 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 like I don't know who to trust anymore and I don't know why this stuff keeps happening to me not this uh really woe is me thing. Uh, some of you could also be working with other air signs as well, okay? Some of you could also be working, uh, for example, Libra, 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 Aquarius, and possibly maybe even, uh, did I say Aquarius? Libra, Aquarius? Gemini, sorry, that's the one I was missing, that twin energy, okay? Uh, some of you may have met your match if you've met that Gemini or in a relationship with a Gemini, okay? <laughs> Uh, possibly some of you could be also working with some jealousy issues too as well. Uh, possibly somebody being jealous of you or possibly there's a situation where jealousy uh, and that stalkerish vibe comes in. It's just like, well, if I can't have them, nobody else can. And if, if I'm jealous of somebody, I'm going to make their life like a living you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. And again, uh, this could have to do with maybe a, a friend all right, a family member, uh, a lover, ex-lover, exes, something like that. You know, uh, so we have this card right here, the judgment card. Look at that horn blow. All right, the angels have come in. All right, so we've got judgment. This is possibly judging your, yourself too harshly, possibly somebody else judging you too harshly, possibly you not having the complete full picture of the situation, somebody possibly feeding you lies, you know, because they're jealous. Uh, also, too, rumors. And, oh, my gosh, honey, I could go on for days about <laughs> I joke around, I'm just like, you know, go stand out there in line because you know how many people, and I think everything that possibly could be said about a person or done has been done to me, 
Okay. So I completely understand that. However, it's picking ourselves up and moving on from that. All right. Clearing out the clutter, you know, going through your friends, seeing who's really there for you, who's really not lovers, ex lovers. Are they creating fake accounts? Are they, you know, getting that spy app? Oh my gosh, which I just found out about. And I'm like, somebody has been watching five different people have had a spy app on me. I'm like, like at first I was kind of flattered, like, damn, you know, some, I'm sorry for, you know, that, but it's just like, okay, uh, somebody's really going to take their time to watch everything that I'm actually doing. This is, it's flattering, but at the same time, cray cray. Okay. Uh, so we've got the judgment right there. So if somebody has been stalking you or you've been dealing with anything like that, let the authorities handle it because trust me, honey, they are on it. OK, uh, so again, this is also to possibly working with legal cases. Well, what the heck does this have to do with relationships? This could have a lot to do with relationships, possibly if you've gone through a divorce or going through a divorce again, not to throw anything out there like is my relationship doomed? No, if this message does not resonate with you, then it's not meant for you. And that's OK. Very quickly. All right. However, I feel like this is going to bring a relief to whatever situation that this is that you're going through. All right. Uh, possibly, too, when it comes to love specifically for your very last message. And I hope this was helpful uh, to somebody out there. This is wonderful. As far as the future goes, it says consider your foundation. Hello. A lot of us have been doing that, you know, uh, redoing our businesses, reevaluating everything. And it says at the bottom here, you're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. All right. So are you really just and I've been guilty of this too. And this may not have to do with you. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. All right. But it's just like, it's nice to be loved. It's nice to be able to wake up next to somebody. But at the same time, I don't want to be in bed with the enemy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So consider your foundation. All right. If you're in a perfectly happy relationship, this is, uh, you know, possibly rebuilding uh, that structure, if you will, because you don't want to build uh, your house upon a house of cards here. But as far as the future goes, I'm seeing wonderful things here, possibly buying property. OK, uh, which is great. You've got your angels here. You've got this wonderful coupled up uh, people together here. You've got even the animals here. You've got some sly foxes there that are coupled up here. You've got the badgers right there. And you have your ancestral, your angels, your spirit guides, past loved ones that are really looking out and over, uh, over you. So uh, consider your foundation. How committed are you to this particular relationship and how committed are you to yourself? Because what we put out is exactly what we get back. OK, so hopefully that was helpful to somebody out there and uh, apologies for the mix up for uh, last month. So thank you all again. And until next time.